In this video, we'll be showing you how to set the bridge voltage on the DECCON FP524D combustible gas sensor unit. As a note, setting the bridge voltage is only needed when a plug-in replacement sensor is being installed into the unit. You will not need to set the bridge voltage during a standard calibration. It is always recommended that the unit you are working on is in bypass mode while you do alterations to the unit. Make sure you contact your site operator and confirm the unit is in bypass mode before proceeding to manipulate the unit in any way. With the unit in operational mode, take the magnet that is supplied with the unit and hold it over PGM2. An arrow will appear on the display showing that the magnet is interacting with the transmitter. The arrow will be pointing down to indicate you are selecting PGM2. After a few seconds, the operational display will change to read view sensor status. Hold the magnet over PGM2 until view sensor status scrolls past and an arrow appears pointing down. At this point, immediately remove the magnet. Set auto span level will now read across the screen. Put the magnet over PGM2 until you see an arrow pointing down. At this point, immediately remove the magnet from PGM2. Repeat this process until the screen reads set bridge voltage. When this happens, put your magnet on PGM1. An arrow will appear pointing up. Keep the magnet on PGM1 for another 10 seconds. The screen will then read setting bridge, then wait. It will then show a number around the 165 mark. From there, it will go up until it reaches 200. Once this has been completed, the screen will read complete, then return to reading set bridge voltage. Leave the unit alone for another 15 seconds. It will then revert back to its normal operational display. This completes our tutorial on setting the bridge voltage for the DECCON FP524D combustible gas sensor unit. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us directly using the email provided in the description below. And if you found this tutorial useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on more ProTech product tutorials.